to organise the event today? Um, I think one of the main reasons was the, the fact that um, with the, uh, the whole issue of the wealth, welfare reforms and the uh, NHS reforms, um, the, I believe that those reforms with the uh, various implications would actually have a doubling impact on the black and minority and other underrepresented and hard to reach communities. And I think it was useful for us to start to look at, uh, I mean, de debating or discussing and exploring how we can actually assist and help those from the uh, from those communities. Right. Um, can I first of all welcome you to this event, the Dublin of Events, which is organized by the Black and Minority Ethnic Community uh, Development Service with a number of shops of other services. Yes, benefit cap. Um, from April, this only applies to the London City for four areas in London at the time being, but it will be rolled out across the country in summer, uh, or June in summer. But essentially, uh, from April, the benefit cap will apply, which will be that the total amount of benefit will get it, excluding disability living allowance and um, yeah, I can't think else. Uh, the working tax credit or all the government will be five pounds for families or three hundred and fifty pounds for single people who've got no dependents. From your perspective as a councillor, what did you think about the changes to the welfare benefits? They're incredulous. When we were um, in a workshop two years ago and we'd been trained upon, we couldn't believe that these people would go through it and they were prejudiced and harmful to individuals. But we have them, we have to work with them, unfortunately, and they need to work with them. Um, is there anything people can do if they feel, feel they're being treated unfairly or simply don't understand these changes? Um, the, crit the critical message here I'd say is that if you think uh, you're being treated unfairly or you need any help or advice, you're not sure what your rights are, go and get advice. And get advice from a credible agency like the CAB or a law centre or a welfare rights team. But make sure it's from a good source because what you don't want to do is get given the wrong advice and then start missing out on benefits. Or worse still, claim the wrong benefits and have to repay it after you've spent it. Just tell a little bit about myself and how I got into the NHS and how I wanted to help within the NHS and hopefully with yourself how you can help influence these new CCGs, Clinical Commissioning Groups. The Clinical Commissioning Group, which is now starts from April the 1st, about how we purchase and make services better for the community. So we have a pot of money, if I can just describe this as the best way I can, and we have to shop for the best services out there for you, for me, for my mum and dad, um, and our communities. And one way they try and do this, clinical commissioning groups, are to have members, which are GPs, who have the voice and the hearing from the people that they represent in their uh, practices, and then the people itself. Now, Could you please summarise the main facts of the NHS reforms. I think the biggest single change is putting GPs in the driving seat, putting clinic clinicians in that decision-making role. Um, those are the people that have daily contact with the patients, understand their needs, understand what works well and what can be improved about the health service locally. So I think for me that is the most significant of the changes. Similarly, what about the NHS reforms? Was gutted. I loved the PCT. I loved what we did here in Nose. Our PCT did what it said on the table and it made a difference. So, but again, we have the UCCG scenario. We'd have to work with that and make the most of it. I'm Nan Chisnell, I'm from South Health Services. 
And what's your service about? Um, our service is a part of the IAP, so the Improving Access to Psychological Therapies. So we provide cognitive behaviour therapy based interventions for of sufferers of mild to moderate depression and anxiety. And who do you deliver to? Uh, we deliver to the residents of Halton and St. Helens. And uh, which service do you work for? I work for Health Watch Knowsley, which is the new independent body that helps the public have their say on how health and social care is delivered in their borough and also signpost people to services that can help them if they're experiencing any difficulties. How are you today? Yeah, it's been very good. I've enjoyed uh, learning about the welfare and the uh, benefits and the NHS. It's been very, very informative. I did know a little bit about the welfare, but I didn't understand as much about the NHS. Area around who can help. Signpost people, don't just say, don't know, can't help you. Say, well, I can't help you, but I know someone who can. And that kind of sensitivity, being aware of just how difficult it is for people at the moment, how scared and anxious people are of all the changes, and the impacts of those changes and being able to do something about it.